Hi guys, I just want to do a really short video for you because I often get asked about my other miniature work. You know, what I do when I'm not painting for the videos, how I like to spend my free time. So this is a project I completed really recently. Uh, some of you who have been watching some of my tutorials may have kind of seen this guy sitting in the background or at least the box he came in. This is uh, Fulgrim, the Primarch. Um, he is from sort of the Horus Heresy range from uh, Forge World. They make a whole bunch of these Primarchs, and I really like all of them. I have their Angron figure as well, which I painted a couple years ago. Uh, I got Fulgrim actually for my birthday at the beginning of January, and I've kind of been working on him off and on since that time. Now this figure is officially part of a 28 millimeter range, but because he's such a heroic, epic kind of character, he's really closer to 54 millimeter, and that means a lot of extra detail and work that you have to do. But for me, that is a lot of what makes him so fun. Uh, and as I said, I've been really working on him off and on, kind of trying to pace myself, because I think if you kind of do that, break something like this down to small bits and take breaks in between, of, you know, several weeks or whatever, and but then just try to do the best job you can on those areas, you'll get an overall better quality result with you know, how the figure turns out. And so, you know, I had gotten him sort of by the beginning of July. He was probably about 75-80% finished. Um, and that's just the Fulgrim figure. I'm not talking about that sort of display base with all the dead space marines. That kind of came later. But uh, I was going to Historic Con in sort of the middle of the month, and I knew that they had a painting contest, so I thought it'd be fun to enter something. And so I thought, well, why don't I get Fulgrim done? That's a great incentive for me to finish the figure. And so I did. I kind of pushed myself, and I got him done, and I took him to the painting contest. And it was my first painting contest I ever entered, and it went really well. I ended up winning a first plot prize in the sci-fi category and that was I thought pretty good results for my first painting contest ever. Um, you'll actually be able to see a picture of him in the next War Games Illustrated because it was their painting contest so yay getting your figures in competitors magazines but anyway so you can look for that. I also really like to set myself sort of personal challenges when I'm working on a project like this so that I can kind of learn something as a painter and in this case I really wanted to figure out how to do non-metallic metal because I hadn't done any real meaningful work with it up until this point. So this is kind of my first model that has any significant amount of non-metallic metal on it. And it was a lot that needed to be done here, obviously, as you can see. So I got a lot of practice. I feel like I really have gotten a lot better. I definitely can improve a lot more, I think, but I but it has really helped me, you know, get an understanding. Sometimes the best way to learn something like that is just to dive in and do it and do a lot of it, and you sort of just get better and you sort of start to figure out how things need to be. So I hope you kind of enjoyed getting to see kind of some of the stuff I do in my free time. Uh, I don't have any new big projects planned at the moment, but I'm sure there'll be something in the future. And, you know, if you guys enjoy this video, if it looks like I get a lot of good feedback, maybe I will go ahead and do some films of some of my older miniatures that I've got laying around, you know, so you can see other stuff that I have done in the past.